A significant number of my clients this week came to me because there was pornography in their relationship or marriage that was affecting it. So I figured, you know what, maybe this is a topic I haven't discussed much. Maybe I should get on here and do a quick 101. Okay, so where does pornography um, come into? You know what? A lot of people find and discover pornography from their parents. They find their magazines, they find their DVDs, what have you. A lot of kids come into pornography because um, their friends show it to them. And as young as 8, 9, 10, believe it or not. Um, and then obviously if there's a developing brain and you are watching uh, pornography um, with a brain that's developing, you could easily start getting twisted um, neural pathways and things like that and, and causing addictions. So uh, why do people use porn, especially adults? You know what? Um, for many reasons. Sometimes it gives them a sense of empowerment, a sense of being in control. You know, I, I want to feel empowered because whatever I want to watch, I can easily type in and it's there. And keep in mind, you can watch porn anywhere. Um, some people have the hero effect. It's like, you know, ooh, let me, um, uh, you know, uh, feel empowered by doing this. Uh, if people are socially awkward or sexually awkward or what have you, obviously, you know, it's much easier to just pop in a tape or, you know, uh, look up something online. Now, can um, porn become uh, an addiction? Absolutely, without question. Anything that we replace uh, healthy coping mechanisms with can absolutely become an addiction. Now, it's not necessarily in the DSM, but it is in the ICD, which is part of the group, uh, World Health Organization. Um, but bottom line, uh, sexual compulsion absolutely can lead to sexual addiction. Anything that we want to numb, distract, avoid, cope with, um, we can use it. Now, unlike other uh, things that are addictions, such as food or, you know, like lots of people want to numb, distract, and avoid, and if they have a food addiction, they'll eat a Whopper. Well, there's only so many Whoppers you can eat until you get stuffed and you can't eat anymore. Same thing with drugs. You want a drug because you want to deal with anxiety, deal with, you know, depression, um, what have you, to, to, to cope, to, or to avoid, numb, distract, you name it. Let me take some drugs, but there's only so many drugs that you can do before you run out of money or fall asleep. With porn, however, you could watch porn for hours and hours and hours and hours. It's a free, endless supply. Um, now, as far as um, why uh, um, people get such pleasure out of it, it's because dopamine is released. It's, it's the pleasure response with it all. Um, you can also go back to these images. It's like if I'm in a CEO meeting and I'm feeling anxious, oh, let me go back mentally to my porn. I can't have a whopper on me right now and I necessarily can't do my drugs, you know, if I was a drug addict, but oh, I can think about porn, so it's there. Um, now, there are some uh, things that uh, you can do to, to prevent porn um, usage. Everything from creating vision boards to having an accountability partner to certainly telling your spouse, your partner, your significant other because what lives in darkness grows and thrives and uh, addiction will take you further than you wanna go and keep you longer than you wanna stay. A vision board, but one of the things you have to do is really find out there what are you using porn for because por people don't have addictions to porn because oh they necessarily want to see 19 year olds and you know shirt topless shirts or wh whatever dancing it's because it serves a purpose it's like you know hey i can either feel anxious or i can watch porn i don't like feeling anxious let me watch porn so yeah they are they are watching something but i don't want you to watch this walking away with oh my gosh my spouse is you know wants to go after some 19 or 20 year old no they're dealing with much many other you know uh, emotional and mental things now as far as um, again uh, curing or helping or what have you um, there's apps you can put on your computer and phone there's accountability partners there's talking to a professional definitely telling your spouse there's what's called naltrexone which is um, uh, an inhibitor that you can take it's a medicine you can talk to a professional about it there are things but bottom line uh, pornography is like any other addiction. We use it to numb, distract, avoid, cope, deal with what so you know what have you. You got to get to the the bottom reasons of why you're using this particular drug to deal with whatever it is you're dealing with, and then address it at um, that level. Um, and I wish you all the best because any addiction, all addictions, certainly are um, a disease, and they're very very difficult to. Um, get over and deal with its crisis management. Not impossible, absolutely doable. I see it every day, but um, it is a journey. So um, one that will have its bumps, but you got to iron out the kinks, absolutely doable.